So Grackle Docs is an accessibility checker and corrector for Google Workspace. It has many of the same features that Adobe Acrobat Pro has to remediate documents, but it's much simpler to use. Making PDFs accessible is difficult, and PDFs are not always or really no longer the best format. Born digital documents like those that we create in Google Workspace can be made accessible with this tool and remain accessible by using the built-in PDF um, creator that Grackle has. Makes all the changes that you've just worked hard to do um, come into the PDF to keep the PDF accessible. So when you need to create a PDF from a file that you've made in Google, the PDF generator in Grackle is the best way to go. So Grackle is a Chrome extension. So I'm in Sheets. It works in Sheets and Docs and Slides. So if I'm in Google Sheet and I go to Extensions and Add-ons, I say Get Add-ons. And then I would go to the Chrome Store and add on Grackle Docs. So I would come in here and I would search for Grackle Docs. And I would see that there are <clears throat> Um, and they're in here, accessible output direct from Google Docs. And I would click on Grackle Docs. And since I already have it installed, it's asking me if I want to uninstall it. But here you'll have a blue button that says install. You'll install it. You'll probably get a permission sheet. Google would like to access, uh, Grackle Docs would like to access your Google Docs. And you give it permission by saying allow at the bottom of the window. So I have it installed. So here you see extensions, and here is um, Grackle Sheets. And I would say launch, and it will open up a panel. It says it's been updated. So here's the allow, because I went from the free version to the paid version. So here, sign into Google Accounts. I will scroll to the My Hampshire account. I'm going to load that in. And then I'm going to say allow. And authorization was successful. Okay. So now in Google Docs, similar, go to extensions, go to add ons get add-ons, I would type in Grackle Docs here. I would do the same thing by adding it. It's probably gonna ask me to update it here as well. So I'm gonna say Grackle Docs. Notice it says Sheets and Slides also. So I'm gonna come in here and do the same thing. It's telling me that it's installed. Um, do I have an update on this one? No, so I'm good with this one. And then Grackle Slides. So I'm going to come into slides, again, extensions and add-ons, get add-ons. I have it here in Grackle Slides, and I'm going to say launch. So that process has already been, I've already installed it. So it comes up with a panel. It's doing an accessibility check already. It's going to tell me that these four slides, uh, it's going to let me know what's already been passed. So presentation title is required, so Grackle Slides simple to use. I have a subtitle in there. Um, the set, a slide should have a title. So it's telling me that one of my slides, slide four, doesn't have a title. So if I look at slide four, it's correct. I don't have a title yet. So if I add a title, um, circles. Now I can recheck it. And it will tell me that slide four has a title and that should pass. Okay, so now it's also telling me that I have a table and that passed and that's good. And there are other elements. So there's a text box that shouldn't be empty. So I can look around to find where I have a text box that's empty. And look at that. So it's telling me all kinds of helpful information. So if I open this slide, let's see, and I tab through because that's how screen readers kind of work. So if I tab through, I'm gonna start with title. Title, 
text box one, text box two, an image. So I'm going to right click on this image and make sure that there's all text. So I had all text, so it didn't tell me that there wasn't any executive functions poster. I don't always need a title. Um, EF poster. Oh, that worked okay. Now I'm going to look at this slide and I'm going to tab through it. And notice that box two, then box one, then the poster, then the title are the order in which it's reading this. And I want to change that. So I'm going to look for slide two in the slide structures panel. Slide two, I want the title first. So look what I'm going to do. I'm literally just dragging these four elements into the order in which I want them read. So here's text box and I added here for step two. So step, I want the title, then I want text box one, and then I want text box two, and then I want the poster. So right now I think I've got the order corrected. So I'm going to start with my tab on the first one, the title. Oops. So it's reading the title, then text box one, text box two, and my poster. So you saw that just by rearranging the order of these, I was able to change what we call the tabbing order. That's what's so hard to do in Google in Adobe Acrobat. It's so easy here in this. So title, text box one, text box two, and image is now the correct thing on slide three. So watch. Title, text box one, text box two, poster. Now let's look what happens on slide four. How I how did I create this one? I made a circle and called it circle one. I copied and pasted, called it circle two, copied and pasted, called it circle three. Then I made caption one, caption two, and caption three. So let's see if it tabs that way. I started, yep, with circle one. Then I made a title, then I did circle two, circle three, caption one, caption two, caption three, but that's not how I want this read. I probably want the title read, then circle one, caption one, circle two, caption two, circle three, caption three. So I must have an empty text box here. Does it tell me that? Um, it's not telling me that, but it probably is going to tell me that in the accessibility checker. So I went back to accessibility check and I'm looking at text box. This shouldn't be empty. So it's telling me that's where it is. It's this text box. So I'm going to just delete that. I don't need an empty text box. Now what do I want? I'm going to go back to the slide structure. And I'm going to say first on this slide four, right, called circle. So I have a title. First, I want the title. Then I want circle one, caption one, circle two, caption two, circle three, caption three. So if somebody comes through and tabs through this. Oops. I've got the title, the text box I've deleted, but I haven't refreshed. So I'm going to go in and refresh. I'm going to go back to slide four, title, oops, circle one, caption one, circle two, caption two, circle three, caption three, and this is how I want it. Okay, so now circle one, caption one, circle two, caption two, circle three, caption three. So this is the proper order, tabbing order, tagging order. And it will stay that way when I have somebody use a screen reader with this. So I've got my title of my deck. A subtitle. I've got a title on every slide, even if this one's called title. The third one, I added the title circles and I re-tabbed, I reordered how this will read in a screen reader. If I use export to PDF, let's say I want to share my slide deck with my students after I've given a class and I export this to a PDF or I 
share this as a view only, then if somebody's using a screen reader to read through this slideshow, it will be in the correct order that I want it. If I copy and paste this in, as I edited it, it's going to actually change the structure. If I save it. So I'm going to make sure that we just keep it this way. So I can preview it. I can use the accessibility check and recheck things. Should take away this text box because I don't have one anymore. And now if I go back to slide structure circles, circle one, see what I did? I changed that by copying and pasting and it changes the order. That's what we have to remember that every time we copy and paste something or we edit something by deleting and pasting it back in, it changes the reading order for students who are using or anyone who's using a screen reader. So I check it again and now I would make a PDF of this if that's what I need to do or share it as you only and it will be correct to my users. Remember, if you log in with your Hampshire Google account now, Grackle is free for all Hampshire users, students, faculty, staff, all of us. You go to extensions, add-ons, find it, Grackle Docs, Grackle Slides, Grackle Sheets, and it's loaded. Once it's in there, you come in and you say um, launch, and you'll get the panels. That's it. Hope you use it, it's really awesome.